We're trying yet another beer that was given to Redbeard by his awesome best friend Marcel today. Marcel's awesome. What be going down, people of the world? My name is Redbeard, and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We've got a can of Mad Quacker Amber Lager by the Lake Wilcox Brewing Company. Yeah, like I said, Marcel brought this back for me when he was down south somewhat recently. Uh, another one of those fucking beers with no date on it, though, so I can't tell you exactly how old it is, but it's an Amber Lager, so I'm assuming I'll like it. Let's crack her open and see what we've got. Ooh, that is definitely Amber. Oh, I am really hoping for, for multi, multi wonderfulness. No, oh, hold the head. Can I get better at the whole head pouring thing? I don't know. But as always, all the thanks in the whole wide world going to those who watch my videos. The beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. Definitely a nice looking beard. Not a whole lot of bubbles moving in there at all, but I don't know. That smells nice. Ooh, yeah, it's got like a... I, I can't... It smells like some kind of cookies or something, maybe. Let's give her a shot. Fucking right. Oh my. That is just... Mounds and mounds of hoppy, not hoppy, multi, multi magnificence, hoppy. There's no hoppy at all. Oh, there's like just a lingering loveliness. Oh. It's a good one. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody, and you know, <laughs> cheers, Marcel. Thank you so much, buddy. So smooth. Just kind of like a bready quality to it. But I love bread, so it works. <laughs> Not yeasty, you know, they put yeast in bread, but blah blah blah. There's no yeast quality in this beer. But there is a bit of a in the aftertaste it's like Tastes like I ate a piece of bread or something, kind of. A really, really tasty homemade bread. Fresh baked. Yeah. It's great beer. Today being December 29th, on this date in 1812, the War of 1812, the U.S. Constitution, under the command of Captain William Brain Bainbridge, captured the HMS Java off the coast of Brazil after a three-hour battle. It actually, like... I could talk about it for a long time, but I suggest going to Wikipedia and looking into it. It's actually really, really interesting. Like, you know, the whole, I think Pirates of the Caribbean, those kind of big warships that existed back then, two of those battling with each other for three hours. It's pretty cool to read about. Yeah, interesting shit that happened in this, in, on this day in the past. I don't think I've had anything by the Lake Wilcox Brewing Company before. I most definitely would not mind having more now at all. On this date in 1851, the first American YMCA opened in Boston, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. This happened a few days ago. I can't say that word. I'm sorry. Yeah. YMCA. Youth Men's Christians Association or something? not sure what exactly it started as but now like the one here in north bay is a gym and a daycare i don't know excuse me sorry no bad flavors at all it's good i know that some ymcas i don't know if they still do i was kind of thinking back to when i was in high school 
a friend or cousin of mine went on a school trip somewhere and they stayed at a YMCA. So, I, I don't know. And the whole song, it's fun to stay at the YMCA, you know. And now that song is beginning to play in my head. I'm not a fan of that song. On this date in 1860, the launch of HMS Warrior, with her combination of screw propeller, iron hull, and iron armor, rendered all previous warships obsolete. Like, just, you're useless now. Because this thing was just that much of an advancement. It was all just, they were wood. Wood with, you know, bits of metal here and there, maybe as armor, but this thing was like metal. All of the metal. Metal. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure that ship, there was two of them. There was this one and its sister ship, and I think one of them is actually still around, kind of not really doing anything, but, you know, it's, it's, you could take a trip and go see it, kind of thing. Maybe. Oh, I need to take a trip to fucking, where is this shit? Vaughn. South, not super far away. Oh, this, this can looks LCBO ready, so maybe I'll be able to find it there. 24 IBUs, fucking thing. 5% alcohol. We've got ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. So there are hops in there, just... I don't taste them, and I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm good with that on a lager. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Ever wanted to try something crazy, maybe even a little mad? Then the Mad Quacker is the perfect beer for you. The unique combination of seven lightly toasted malts and the sultry amber color of this historic Vienna-style lager is richly flavorful without being overwhelming. The Mad Quacker is sessionable and easily paired with your favorite meal. Yeah, I can see this being going quite well with uh, many different food types. And seven different malts. I've had a couple different beers where they went all crazy with the number of malts and or hops and I found that Occasionally they don't work that well together when you mix that many, but this one seems to uh, Seems to have gotten the job done Quite effectively on this date in 1997 Hong Kong began to kill all of its chickens apparently 1.25 million of them to stop a potentially deadly influenza strain from spreading It's kind of I don't know if they just killed them and like threw them into incinerators or if they killed them and then tested them and if they were okay then, you know, use them for... There's still food. Fuck. That's a lot of... Waste. And a lot of, you know, chicken lives matter or something. I don't know. I had to kill one when I was younger. My I babysat for my uncle. And he wouldn't pay me until I killed a chicken. And I did not like killing said chicken. No, I did not. Killing animals for food is the kind of thing that I I know I can do it, but I don't I don't do it because I don't like to do it. You know? Somebody else can take care of that part of my dinner kind of rambling type shit again. Surprise. Oh. This is one of the just overall nicest beers I've had in a little while. It's ridiculously easy drinking. And the over the every Part of the flavor profile is enjoyable. There's nothing about it that I don't like. 
like you said, there wasn't a whole lot of bubbles, and it, in my opinion, it could do with maybe just a little bit more carbonation to kind of bring that flavor to life a little bit more, but aside from that... You done damn well, Lake Wilcox. Finally on this date, in 2003, the last known speaker of Akala Sami died, rendering the language extinct. So, the last person who could speak said language died, and there isn't enough record of the language, I guess you could say, to relearn it type thing completely. So, yeah. Like, you know, I respect other cultures and everything, but at the same time, I think it would be kind of good for everybody if the whole world spoke, spoke the same language. I'm not saying necessarily it would have to be English, you know, I... I whatever language, it just... It'd be cool if everybody could just talk to everybody. Apparently there's a company out there making earbuds right now that when you talk to somebody of a different language, it like translates it for you and stuff. So that's, you know, technology can help bridge the gap, but regardless, here, in honor of the Akala Sami language, having died, let's kill the Mad Packer. Oh. Like I said, there's no date on there. Wait, there's something. I, I didn't see that. All I saw was the, the dot, and I just looked at it. I just glanced again, and it says, Package. K0716. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. So, packaged on November 7th of this year? I'm assuming? If so, then... It can't be, you know, it could be fresher, but not a whole lot fresher. It hasn't gone bad, I don't think. So, yeah, there's a date, so. Fucking very solid nine on that beer. Mad Quacker, Lake Wilcox. Well, Wilcox. Cox of Will's, yeah, stuff and things and that's gonna do it for today's daily drink vlog thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it then be sure to smash that like button if you want to see more of my videos then be sure to smash that subscribe button if you got something to say to me then put some comments in the box down below but thanks again and i'll be back with another daily drink vlog tomorrow a peace out i think i still have at least three or four more beers that were given to me by marcel in the fridge so you know dude you're awesome. Thank you so much for supporting me and helping me keep this going and stuff and things. And yeah, you're a good guy.